The concerns continue to emerge. This stuff is a monstrous threat. It is one of the most pernicious environmental plagues that we have here in Connecticut, and it's only getting worse. It's in Connecticut. Connecticut's the ground, ground zero for it. There's about a thousand acres in the river system right now. This is the Chester Boat Basin, where numerous factions have joined the fight. The enemy is called hydrilla, an invasive, rapidly growing aquatic plant. The lower Connecticut River Valley is now ground zero for this strain. The battle against hydrilla has begun with lawmakers, the Army Corps of Engineers, the Connecticut DEEP, and the newly formed Office of Invasive Species all involved. We are in testing mode now, yep. The Connecticut Agriculture Station, along with the Army Corps, is working on the river doing what's called dye testing. And we want to see how the water moves in and out, how long would it last in the water, and products that could be used would have to be determined based upon some of that data. It's going to be really difficult to eradicate it, and I think management is a more realistic goal. The government has already awarded $6 million to fight hydrilla here, but they're hoping to get a lot more. It needs to be a $25 million or more dollar program Thank you. that will provide the resources that are necessary. For marina owners like Bob Petzold, the problems persist. It grows so fast that the boats just cannot move. They can't plow through it. So we have a, a company come in there, remediate it, which is a short-term solution, but it, it gets us through the season. The hope is that their plan to control hydrilla is in place by next year. Control is key and prevention of movement is key. Education is key. Public awareness is a big part of this. In Chester, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.